Hello, hello. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here in our online yoga school. Okay, so we're going to get started in a comfortable seated pose. May we find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Tucking the tummy in at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. This helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Take a notice of how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. As our eyes are gazed down or fluttered closed, relaxing in silent meditation for natural breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips close up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, shoulders close up towards the ears, elongating that spine here, tummies are tucked at the navel. As we bring our palms together, interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Our heart chakras open, our chin is up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, this is a slight back bend, two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. As our bodies lean towards the right, coming into a seated side bend, you'll feel this stretch here in your side body. <clears throat> Slightly gazing up at the heavens, if that feels good, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, leaning the body towards the right. Seated side bend, opposite side. Tummies are tight, slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms together. Exhale into prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Allow the palms to flow to the sides of the bodies. The palms are connected to our yoga mat. We are connecting to the earth, tuning in to our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now, in our present moment. As we go inward, focusing on self, silent meditation, five natural breaths. As we breathe our palms into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, the bottoms of our feet are connecting. Our backs are elongated. And this bound pose opens up and relaxes the hip flexors here. As we slightly hinge at the hips, noticing that when we hinge forward, you may feel it a little deeper in your hip flexors. So only going forward as much as your body comfortably allows you to go. And if we are able, we can allow our shoulders to melt forward, coming deeper into that hinge and allowing our head to relax downward towards our feet. 
Slightly gazing the eyes down. Three breaths. Exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly. As we straighten our legs, coming into a staff pose, legs are parallel side by side. Our toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens, backs elongated, shoulders relaxed downward, away from our ears as we are gaze forward. Taking a moment to check in with mind and body here in our staff pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, slightly bringing the body towards the thighs. And you may feel it stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. And if we're able, we can connect our hands to our ankles or the hands to our bottoms of our feet coming deeper and to that forward fold allowing the shoulders to melt forward and head melts down towards the knees. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold as we come back to our staff pose. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salute. Fingers close up towards the heavens. Chin is up. Taking a breath in. Exhale, prayer. Palms come heart center. Relaxing the body. Two breaths. As we breathe our right leg up, right foot is flat on the earth. We're going to work on our twist, our seated twist, or our Lord of the Fish. We can cross our right foot over our left leg if that feels good to go deeper in that twist. As we take this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us, we can bring this left elbow over that right knee if we choose as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our seated twist, soothing, relaxing, and decompressing our spine. Slightly gaze in the eyes down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, uncrossing that leg. Coming back to our staff pose, legs are parallel as we hinge at our hips, head forward fold, or come down to a complete forward fold. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold as we flow back to our staff. Taking our left leg up in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We can option to cross this left foot over that right leg, bringing our left hand behind our backs with our fingers facing away from us. We can bring this right elbow over our left knee as we gaze over that left shoulder. We are in our seated twist opposite side, also known as Lord of the Fish Pose. Still in the spine, soothe and decompress. Eyes gaze down, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, uncrossing that leg, coming back into that staff pose. As we breathe our palms above our heads in that salute, feeling that stretch, interlacing our fingers, point the finger points up towards the heavens, shoulders close up towards the ears. We are elongating that spine. Spinal cord is nice and long, tummies are tucked. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back, you'll feel this in the upper parts of your bodies and your shoulders, your back muscles. Chin is slightly up, two more breaths. 
Exhale into center, coming into that salute. Palms come down to prayer. Relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. Gaze forward, two breaths. Exhale, relaxing the body. We're gonna come up on our buttocks a little. We're gonna bring our knees, our legs in the air. You'll feel this working your abdominals, your core muscles. We're gonna flow into a boat pose, straightening those legs. You'll feel your core muscles working a little more here. You may even feel your obliques working. Bringing the arms parallel to the legs, or we can come into an extended boat, breathing those arms up in the air. Whatever feels good for you, we're gonna work our core muscles, keeping our backs nice and straight, elongated. This is how we stay up. If we should bend, bend our backs, we may fall over. So keeping that back elongated and strong helps keeps us up. As we are gaze forward, four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this pose, breathing our hands in, and we're going to pound our hands from side to side. Working our obliques and our core just a little more. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose at center. Holding our pose, legs are still in the air, knees are in the air. We're gonna breathe our hands to our feet. Just taking a moment to play around with the hands and the feet, lifting the hands and feet up and down. Core muscles, meaning our abdominals are nice and tight. Backs are still nice and elongated here. We're gonna work on a boat pose variation. Boat pose variation, also known as bear pose, holding our feet in our hand. We're going to play around and extend that left leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch here in your inner thigh as well as your hamstrings behind your leg. And this is our boat pose variation. We can widen that leg by allowing the leg to come out further towards the side. Little lateral stretch here. Or you can keep that leg slightly in. Core muscles are tight. Three more breaths. Gazing forward. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing that left leg in. As we extend that right leg out towards the sides, feeling that stretch opposite side. Optioning to breathe that leg out towards the side laterally a little more, or just keeping it settled. We are feeling that stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings. Tummy's tight, gaze forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that leg back in. We're gonna extend that left foot out one more time, feeling that stretch as we extend our right leg out. Now we are in that full boat pose variation, AKA bear pose. And our legs look like a V. We can widen that V if we choose or we can breathe that V inward, closing off that V. Noticing that when we bring our legs in or out, you'll feel different parts of the muscles and the abdominals working. So maybe we'll play around and freestyle here in our boat pose variation for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing the feet back in, come into that bound position, diamond or butterfly. Now, in our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. That is the diamond pose. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So that is the difference between the two poses. They look very similar. Except one is just a little bit more of a hip opener. In our bound pose, we're going to hinge at the hips. Going deeper in that hip flexor, seeing how much we was able to open up our inner thighs, allowing the torso to melt forward, head melts downward towards the feet, as much as we are comfortably able to go down, allowing the eyes to flutter down. 
as we take nice, subtle breaths here. Go on in. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Come into that diamond on that butterfly. Using our hands to bring our legs upwards, crossing our feet and our ankles as we flow into a tabletop pose. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Our palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna drop down to our cow. Tummies come downward towards the earth. You'll feel this sunken body and your lumbar spine. Chin is slightly up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale into cat. Chin comes to clavicle. Tuck in the tummy in. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale, cat. Coming to our table as we extend our right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth. And we're gonna lift that right leg up nice and high. You'll feel your gluteus maximus, your buttocks squeezing here. And we're gonna pulse that right leg up and down. Yes, we are working our buttocks, our gluteus maximus muscle. As we are gaze forward, tummies tight, four breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna find our paws, leveling out our legs straight behind us as we extend our left arm forward. So right legs to the back, left arms forward. We are in that full sunbird. We're gonna gaze forward with our abdominals tight, four breaths. At any time, we can lower our right toes downward to the earth for balance if we choose. We are still in the sunbirds. So either our toes are lowered down to the earth or extended behind us. Two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird, two breaths. Exhale to our table, drop into cow, chin is up. <sighs> Taking a nice breath. Exhale to cat, chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows up, tummy's tight. Flowing to cow. Exhale cat. Come into our table as we breathe our left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch, lifting that left leg up nice and high. We are squeezing and rounding our gluteus maximus here. Lifting that leg as we pulse that leg up and down, working that gluteus maximus muscle. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna find that pause, leveling out that left leg. As we breathe this right arm forward, we are in that full sunbird, opposite side, gaze forward, tummies tight, four breaths. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth if that feels good. Two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch, back the bird, knee to elbow, back the bird, knee to elbow, flow into bird, two breaths, coming back to our table. Dropping down to cow. 
exhale cat come into our table as we push our bodies up to our damn dog gazing at the feet walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right we are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here three more breaths Finding pause, we're gonna shift our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are tight. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Coming on to our tummies. We are in our Spanx pose. We are on our four arms here, Miss Spanx. We are on our tummies. This here is a slight back bend. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. With our palms together in prayer hands. Slightly gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes. Taking a nice deep breath in. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breath. Two more breaths. Flow into our baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso. We're gonna lift our torso away from the earth. Our elbows are slightly bent. We are in that baby cobra. Extending our elbows, coming into that full cobra. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is up. Flow into up dog, untucking those toes, taking the thighs off the earth, up dog. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Flowing back to high plank. Yes, we are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies. High plank. Tummy's tight. Two more breaths. Breathing down to low plank or chaturanga. Exhale, Spanx pose, coming onto the tummies, onto the forearms, palms are together, heart chakras open, chin is up, eyes slightly gaze down with a close, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Silent meditation, three breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing on to our tummies, we're gonna lay flat. Just taking a little rest, crossing our hands on top of us. Crocodile pose, allowing our cheeks or our chin to relax on our palms. As our shoulder blades melt forward, eyes gaze down. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly awakening from our sleep pose. We're gonna lift our bodies up. We're gonna breathe our arms in front of us, taking our legs off the earth, flowing into a Superman, Supergirl. We are on our tummies. We have our arms extended in front of us. Our legs are to the back, but our feet and our thighs are slightly off the earth. Superman, Supergirl. Three breaths. 
two breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a bow pose, we're gonna breathe our right hand to our right ankle, our left hand to our left ankle, using our hands and our ankles to lift our torso further off the earth. Here in our bow pose, we are in our nice deep back bend. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Four breaths. Two breaths. Slowly exhaling out, we're gonna come back to our locust pose. When our feet is off the earth and our arms are swamped to the back, this is a locust pose. As we swim our arms back forward into that Superman, Supergirl, gaze forward. Flowing back to our Sphinx pose, coming onto our forearms, pushing our torso a little further away from the earth. Feeling this light back then as we take a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Feeling the eyes slightly close or gaze down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, palms are flat on the earth, elbows slightly bent. Lifting that torso away from the thigh. Lifting that torso away from the earth. As we push our bodies up to our hands and our knees, just for a second, we're gonna flow into a puppy pose. Bringing our buttocks high in the air. Legs are slightly together. Our torso comes downward towards the earth. We're in that puppy pose. We can do an extended puppy pose by breathing both our arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Extended puppy pose. Torsos downward, heart chakras, coming closer to the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. Gaze in the eyes downward, close in the eyes. Shoulder blades melt forward as our bodies completely relax and soothe here in our puppy pose. May we go inward. Silent meditation, five natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together and flowing into a prayer hands puppy pose if that feels good. Three more breaths. Flowing back to an extended puppy pose, breathing those arms in front of you, palms flat down. As we spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward, pushing that body forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. And you'll feel your spinal cords rotating, flowing, moving like a wave, spinal wave, allowing the neck, the cervical spine to also wave as we are working our entire spinal cord. Four breaths. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Mm. Tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming back to table. Palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our right foot to our right hand, run this lunge. We're gonna straighten that front leg into a pyramid. Feeling that stretch when we straighten that leg. Torso, head relaxes over that thigh. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Three more breaths. Two 
two breaths. As we flow to a triangle, connecting our right hand to our right ankle, optioning to use a yoga block. As we breathe that left arm up in the air, nice and extended, fingertips flows up towards the heavens. We are in that triangle pose. You'll feel this stretch, feel this twist. Allowing the body to soothe and relax here. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this triangle. We're going to twist the body forward. The left hand comes downward towards the ankle. We're going to work on a revolved triangle. When we connect our left hand to our right ankle or our yoga block that's closest to our right foot. We're going to twist that right arm up in the air. Revolve. Triangle. Feeling that stretch and that lengthening here. Three breaths. Left fingertip slows up towards the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale, twisting the body forward. We're going to flow back into that pyramid. Right legs in front of us, nice and straight. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head melts down. Three breaths. Two breaths. Bending that knee, coming back to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, pet on our feet left and right. Finding our pause, we're going to breathe our left foot towards our left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Holding this, two more breaths. As we come into a pyramid, extending or straightening, I'm sorry, straightening that front leg, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, head melts down, feeling that stretch behind the leg here. I'm going to hold this, three breaths. Shoulder blades melt downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. And exhale and slightly coming up. We're going to flow into a triangle, connecting this left hand to this left ankle, lower part of the leg, or yoga block. Whatever feels good. As we breathe that right arm up in the air, fingertips close upwards towards the heavens, feeling this triangle stretch, twist. And we are lengthening as well. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this pose, twisting our bodies forward. Right hand comes downward towards the ankle, yoga block. We're going to connect this right hand to this left ankle. Or yoga block closest to the left side of the body. We're going to extend that left arm up in the air. We are in that revolved triangle. Left arm goes up, fingertips flows towards the heavens, feeling that twist and that stretch. Three breaths. Also feeling a body balance. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, coming back into that pyramid pose. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down, three breaths. Two breaths. As we bend that front knee, coming back into that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, pedal on our feet left and right. We're going to find our pause. We're going to flow into a three-legged right side. Right leg flows up in the air. Gazing at that foot. Feeling that stretch. As we bring that right knee to that right elbow. Feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. 
Flowing back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies. We're gonna find pause, breathing that left leg up in the air, three-legged opposite side. As we breathe that left knee to that left elbow, feeling that crunch, working our arms, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, feeling the burn, back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. As we flow into our dog fin, coming onto our forearms, buttocks is high in the air. We are gazed at the back of the room. Our dolphin pose is a headstand prep pose. We're gonna hang out here for breaths, optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if that feels good for you. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna come into a wide-legged child's pose or a puppy pose. Whatever feels good for you in our child's pose, our buttocks comes down towards the heels of our feet. Torso relaxes between the thighs. Extended child's pose, arms are extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Third eye chakra forehead is connected to the earth. As our shoulder blades melt forward and our eyes flutter shut, five natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together and flowing into a prayer hands. Child's pose. Three more breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, child's pose, we're gonna flow back to that extended child's pose. Two breaths. Palms flat on the earth. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose if we went to puppy. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pose at center, we're gonna push the body up to down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet to our hands, complete forward fold, allowing our torso to relax over our thighs, head melts downward towards the earth. Taking a nice breath in, exhale. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. You may feel the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings as well. We're gonna hang out here for breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. And exhale into a half forward fold, slightly gaze forward, backs are straight. We're gonna yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. As we exhale back down to a complete forward fold. Mm -hmm. Optioning to flow into a rag doll. If that feels good for you, connecting the hands to the elbows, head melts down, four breaths. Mm -hmm. 
maybe we can rock or sway our bodies from side to side in our red dial or forward fold if that feels good. Noticing that when we rock and sway, you'll feel it a little more behind your legs and your hamstrings going deeper in it. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center, half forward fold. As we breathe up to our Tadasana, wide-legged Tadasana. Palms are at our side. We're gonna flow into our cactus hands. We're gonna bend our knees maybe placing our feet slightly outward towards the mat, bending our knees, coming to that goddess. God stance. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. We are working our quads, our gluteus maximus, our calves. And if we choose, we can pulse it up and down here in our goddess stance, feeling the burn in the lower parts of the body. Or we can rock it from side to side. Goddess, God stance. Four more breaths, or we can stay still, whatever you choose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up to standing star, breathing our palms outward towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed down here in our standing star. Our feet are planted and grounded to the earth. Our arms are in the universe. We are shining brightly. We are strong. We are powerful. We are our own light in our darkest days. Knowing and realizing and understanding that the power comes from within. As we stand here in our star, eyes slightly gaze downward. Relax in silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing back to the goddess stance, bending those knees, hands come back to cactus hands. And we can option to breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Or exhale to prayer, palms come heart center. Or stay in our goddess, cactus hands. Four more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles. This is a counter stretch to what we just did. This wide legged forward fold allows us to relax and soothe the muscles in the lower parts of our bodies as our head melts downward towards the earth. Taking a nice breath in and exhale. Four more breaths. Mm -hmm. Two breaths. Mm -hmm. Excellent to half forward fold. We are still wide legged. We're going to connect our left hand to our right ankle. And we're going to wrap this right arm around our back. How we're doing our thread the needle. We're going to slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this crossbody spinal twist as we lengthen and stretch here. Four breaths.
Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, half forward fold. As we breathe our right hand to our left ankle, we're gonna wrap this left arm behind our backs. How we do when I thread the needle as we gaze over our left shoulder. We are in that cross body recline spinal twist, opposite side, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that half forward fold. Come into our Tadasana wide legged. We're gonna breathe our legs together, coming into a nice standing tall Tadasana. Legs are together or slightly together. Palms are at our side. As we breathe our palms up to our Sunut, Interlacing our fingers, point the finger points up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, feeling this slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms. We are in extending, extended mount. As we lean our bodies towards the right, standing side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens if we choose, opening up their heart chakra, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling to center, standing side bend, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens if you choose. Feeling that heart chakra open. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms together and I salute. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Relaxing and soothing the upper parts of the body. As we slightly hinge at the hips. Keeping our palms at heart center, half forward fold with the straight back, three breaths. You'll feel the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Two more breaths. We're going to slightly bend those knees, coming into a chair pose. We can be in prayer hands chair, or we can extend our arms in front of us in our extended chair. Whatever you choose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms together. Pray our hands as we twist the body towards the right. Chair pose twist. Slightly gazing at our fingers. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale, back to center. Chair pose, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. This is a counter stretch, head melts down. Three breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Eyes are slightly gazed down or closed. As we walk our hands forward, Breathing our feet to our backs, down dog. Tummies are tight. Exhale to high plank, tummies tight. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a table. 
as we flow to a cow. Exhale, cat. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're gonna come to a seated pose just for a second. We're gonna float onto our backs, coming up to a five, knee to chest. Hugging the knees into our chest. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed, the gaze down. As we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Invisible wall in our case. Or if you wanna wind down the session, feel free to go up to a wall, breathe your legs onto the wall and just hang out there for the remainder of the session if that feels good for you. Otherwise, we're gonna keep on flowing. We're gonna breathe our legs towards our bodies, reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs and breathing our legs to our torso. Legs to torso stretch. Our buttocks may come slightly off the earth. Two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we breathe our knees into our chest, allowing our knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist, feeling that spine. Soothe, decompress. You may even feel it crack as our shoulder blades melt back into the earth. Knees are flowing to the left as our right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. And we are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over our right shoulder. Whatever feels best for you, we are allowing that body to melt into the yoga mat. Feeling one with the earth. Four breaths of silence. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As our knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite side, knees to right, shoulder blades melts back into the earth. Left arm goes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. Allowing the body to soothe and blend in with the earth, just melting downward. Relax. Eyes closed. Four natural breaths of silence. Exhale and back to center. Hugging those knees into the chest. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, a happy baby. Lifting those feet up in the air. Legs come slightly outward towards the side. Feet is nice and high in the air. As we breathe our hands between our thighs, connecting our hands to our feet. Happy baby. Maybe we can rock or sway our bodies, Just rock our bodies, shall I say, from side to side, using the earth to massage and soothe the spinal cord. Or we can simply stay still in our happy baby and just relax and soothe you. Whatever feels best for you and your body, five breaths. Three more breaths.
Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. As our legs extend up in the air, legs on the wall. Pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that ballerina's stretch. The ballerina's foot, toes pointing up towards the heavens. Two more breaths. As we widen our legs, using our hands to breathe our legs outward, recline wide-legged split or stretch. You'll feel this in your inner thighs. We can option to connect our hands to our toes. Or we'll just feel the stretch by just placing our hands in our inner thighs. Two more breaths. Breathing the legs back inward, the legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into the chest. Exhaling our legs parallel. We are in our Shavasana, our rest pose. Optioning to grab a blanket and cover up with here in our Shavasana, our resting pose. As our shoulders relax his back into the earth. Our eyes are gazed downward or closed. <clears throat> our legs are side by side with the sides of our feet connecting, with the sides of our feet touching as we allow our feet to flow to the side, falling to the side. This allows us to completely relax our legs. Feel in the body just take a load off as we wind down from our session. Checking in with self. Soothing and relaxing. Seven breaths of silence. Three more breaths. As we roll onto our side into a fetal pose. Keeping the eyes gaze downward if that feels good. Three more breaths. Slowly wiggle on our toes, rotating our feet at our ankles, moving our bodies at our hips. We can option to stay in a laying position if that feels best for you. Or if we choose, we can use our hands to lift our bodies up, coming into a seat of pose. Any easy seat of choice. I'm going to come into a cow face, legs. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you, ensuring that our tummies are tight and our spinal cords are nice and elongated. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. Eyes are gazed downward or fluttered shut. As we take a nice breath in, 
exhale through the mouth. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms, their heart center coming into a seated prayer. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Noticing how the breath soothes and relaxes. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Mm. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Any questions or concerns before we call it an evening? Okay, well, if not, namaste, peace and blessings. Have a great evening and I'll see you soon. Namaste. Love and light. Bye.